Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat. Old school NWO shirt out in full effect. And I just wanted to make a quick wrestling video. I hope your day is uh, going well. Something to think about. When you're trying to argue, when you're making that argument, who should be pushed in WWE and who shouldn't, these are facts, in my opinion, and no matter who gets pushed, they will always be true. Hear me out. Most WWE wrestlers will never be the WWE Champion. Rowdy Piper wasn't. Almost every single WWE wrestler will not main event WrestleMania, the last match. The majority of WWE wrestlers will not win a title, belt, of any kind in the WWE. Several WWE wrestlers at any given time in the company will not, will not ever appear in WrestleMania in any form, though that's probably changed over the last couple of years. So that might not be as true as it once was with the WWE Network and uh, the pre-shows now. A few wrestlers, you know, very small handful of WWE wrestlers working for the company that will never even debut on Raw. Think of all the guys on NXT. And most of the wrestlers in the world Indies, overseas, will never be employed by the WWE. Whether you like WWE or you don't, you hear all these shoot interviews. The WWE is where people want to be. It's obvious, isn't it? The wrestlers who want to do great things are many. And the spots are very few. Therefore, I must respect and, uh, respect and tip my hat at anyone, in, even in the company, that actually achieves anything, even if it's just a tag belt. Those guys are the lucky few. And the crazy uh, talent, the crazy talented, who managed to make it that far, but especially, I will always respect, have respect, for those who actually manages to become WWE Champion, even if it's only for a day. I hope all is well. I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Until next time, over and out.